Ah, what a beautiful day in Minecraft. Welcome, folks, to what I'm calling Lamitic or Lamitic building. With myself, Stompin' Llama. I. This is a single player world I've been working on, and I figured you should see how I build. As you can see, this is the start of a very small village. I'm calling it Snow Pine. It's gonna have three little houses, a couple of little storage units over there. It's got a mine back there where we're gonna build a tower in a later episode. But for now, for now, we're going to be actually building this little town. A really basic design. I've got five spaces in between each of these. I oh, could bring it. Yeah, let's bring it out to there. I've got a really basic design for these houses. Really basic. Uh, you'll see very shortly. Uh, basic. Basic for this wonderful winter area we are in. Except over here where it turns into non-winter area and then turns back. So it was a great spot to spawn. Uh, so first of all, we have the uh, basics of the house. I'm laying the basic flooring around the outside. Uh, basic outside is wood. Just generic wooden planks. And we want to go... Hmm, shall we make this a two, one story or a two story? Let's make it a two story. Let's see these go up. Three, four, and one. One, two... One thing you always want to be careful of is to have enough of the materials you are going to use to build on hand um, because this is actually a live world um, with mobs in it because I don't play any other way. So if... wait a minute. I just made a stupid thought. All the houses on my... All the other houses are made out of cows. The sides on all the other houses, if I can ever get a word out right. It's made out of cobblestone. So this was very dumb of me to use all this wood, all these wooden planks, when I'm gonna have to replace them anyway. So we'll just remove them. I figured I was gonna go for more of a Nor, a Norse-ish look. I don't know how you quite say that, um, but uh, something a little bit more Denmarkish, something a little bit more what you would find in, say, Newfoundland or something like that. Uh, something you wouldn't traditionally uh, see out where I live over here in the U.S. We don't uh, build like this, and this is kind of medievalish. It's of the same era, that's for certain. Uh, but there's no the distinctive patterns. Um, pertaining to exactly what exactly is going on so uh, this is not a series about say medieval or this this is just how I craft and feel free to suggest something that you think will look cool and I'm not talking about things like skulls weeping lava I mean something within the theme and this is where the you know we get another layer of cobblestone I just covered up a window spot. We'll free that up later. That's right. We go up four, and then we get the layer of blocks. Can I? Yes. I got it. There we go. And then what we do is to break up the pattern of cobblestone, we're adding a layer of solid blocks. Now these are all uh, pine, uh, so it looks like pine. See, and then at the four corners we go up one, and then I'm going to, yes. Now this is all based off of that design there. It's a very flexible design actually. We're going to cobblestone it up, and then we're going to start on the roof. This is very short. Uh, just how we're gonna 
do things uh, as, you, as I said. Uh, Snow Pine is a very uh, small village as you can see. Uh, will be very small. Always will be small. Uh, because it's in the far north. No one likes living uh, too far north. Uh, it gets too cold. Uh, most people don't have extreme cold tolerances. I am one of the lucky few that actually kind of does. I kind of love the winter. Uh, not a lot of people do though. So living in the extreme cold requires, well, a kind of interesting person. A different person, that's for sure. And the people who would live in such a place like this would be, well, a different kind of person. Uh, you know, like you find uh, people who live in cold climates are just a little bit different in that their their life is a little bit more. Well, I can't say anything really. I live in Michigan. We get decently cold weather, or at least we have the last couple of years. Um, so it gets decently cold. Nothing as cold or snowy as I would like. I'll have to get that later, but uh, it's just I'm using wooden slabs um, up top here because it, it just goes better with the look of the roof being stepped rather than a full-on uh, wooden block. It just looks a bit better that way. Uh, we're not quite done yet. We've got a little bit of interior work. I've got some glass. And it gets very dark in here, as you would expect. And the drop is because, well, we haven't got any floor in. Uh, really basic wooden floor, uh, since this space isn't very big. It doesn't require too much in the way of uh, specialties. Where's those torches? Pretty sure we won't need those. So just a couple of torches. It's getting night. We don't want that. Well, most of everything we've done, we've yet to do is inside, so. And let's put a stair out front for easy access for everything but the creepers. And some ladders. We're going to need those. First of all, we have to figure out what do we want the top uh, floor made out of. Now, on the one on the far side, I don't know if you could see. You probably could. I had a chimney. Um, just real basic, basic chimney. Uh, I think we're going to do a wooden slab floor. Uh, very similar to what I had in my house. I don't know if you could see it, but... Uh, I had a wooden slab floor because that's a one and a half story more or less housing unit. Uh, the other one has a full, when I say full I mean, let's see, we'll want the chimney to be right around here-ish, so to prevent catching fire, probably want it in this back corner. Uh, as I was saying, uh, the other one actually has a full. Wow, was it dark? Uh, had a full, uh, full step. Uh, I think a half step will work better though. A little bit of window to catch the uh, morning rays of the sun. Uh, help heat the house. I think that makes a bit of sense. Uh, so we have it facing east. Uh, that one we actually have it facing completely west uh, because, well, that's just how things go. We can't really have too much here other than uh, falling, uh, which is never good, but hey, we all fall. I uh, guess we'll have to call this a little bit of an episode. Yes, we don't want anything coming in, so we'll We'll have to wait for it to night to pass uh, before we continue with Snow Pine. I can show you the other house though, really quick, hopefully. Hopefully nothing blows up in my face. As I said, this is a really basic design. I have uh, the chimney basically set up here with a torch temporarily till I can get to the nether. And like I said, full, uh, full wooden forms. Um, and yeah, the chimney continues up here with an access point. 
the half step actually prevents uh, players and mobs if the mob happens to spawn on top of the house or on top of the chimney and fall down uh, they can't get out skeletons can still shoot but uh, and as you probably cannot tell I replaced the uh, log that would go right under this half step with a uh, one of these a solid stone block because we don't want that catching fire and causing uh, the wooden parts of the house to catch fire. So real basic there as a really basic chimney. Uh, this house is small enough to where I don't think we're going to need a chimney but we are going to want a chimney on the other house over there uh, once we get around to that. Uh, we have a lighting error it appears uh, out the back of my house. Uh, this was initially completely open to the roof but for sake of just adding things, uh, adding some depth to the house, I added the half steps. That probably wasn't the best idea, but this way I can still put a bed up here. Um, maybe a couple storage chests on either side. Just some real basic stuff can be added up here. And add some depth and some height and some character to the house. As do the, uh, I'm lacking a torch there and I have an invisible torch. Wonderful. I hate it when Minecraft does that. It's been doing that a lot lately. I think that's the reason I haven't been doing a lot of single player stuff. It's because it does stupid junk like this. Okay, that did not fix it. We'll be back, folks, in the morning. Welcome back. We were working on the house and now we can see all the mobs brightly burning. Uh, these spi these houses are not spider proof or creeper proof. He decided he wanted to uh, come join through something I made for the beginning of the chimney. Hmm. Make sure we don't have any more creepers and put down a block. Um, actually, that's where the... Uh, no? Hmm... Let me look at how I did this over here real quick. And okay, we have the block there then. Meaning this is going to be literally carved out of the mountain because I didn't clear up enough space. So that would go there, yes. Which means this is going to be completely and utterly awesome. Because we will now be literally building straight up. Hello, monsters. Oh, this mountain is actually going to be somewhat helpful. We want to remove this. Put that there. Uh, this way it actually matches. And let's go about that high, I think. That, that looks pretty nice right there. And uh, we've got a fairly safe way down. I have to rebuild uh, the actual way down. But I think we should be fine. Uh, let's see. And we go up and there we should go and now the fun part because this is actually technically part of the mountain there we go very 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 basic chimney if I had some clay I would probably make it out of clay clay looks a little nicer but it's much less abundant. And as you can also see, I added that window. Um, and now for some accent pieces. Um, actually, that was a pretty dumb idea of mine. Um, but uh, let's put some ladders up. Yes, we're going to be scaling the inside of my chimney, of our chimney. Um, for the exact purpose of accenting it, and the replacing of these with something a bit nicer. And for the smoke effect right now I will use that. It also adds some light, prevents mobs from spawning on top. And like I said, we want the... No, that should work. There we go. And we should be able to remove this without a problem. That was the wrong tool, but oh well. Using that. Um, and actually closing uh, the gap down to 
one and a half blocks. Spiders can't get up, can't get inside. Uh, actually, we did want. Wait a minute. Can we actually go in a one and a half block? Oh right, I haven't added the half step yet. Uh, right there. That uh, looks a bit odd, but that's a uh, because we haven't done something. We want to add a little bit of a half step accent here, I think. That'll accent it. Yeah, I'm going to need a couple more of those. I think I have a couple more at the main house. Uh, some stone cooking. Yep, wooden slabs. And this should be good. There we go. That'll accent this place very nicely. A couple of torches, a couple of torches. We should actually be good. Now, to prevent anything from spawning for now, I'm gonna put a torch there, uh, basically to simulate some a little bit of fire. One second. Sorry about that, let's continue. I think we should be adding some type of mantle. Mm-hmm. How are we going to do this? Because the mantle normally is above a fireplace, yet perfectly visible. That doesn't quite look right. I don't think we can add a mantle. Uh, not with the way Minecraft is. No. Not with the way Minecraft is right now. Um, because the ideal place would be the upper block part here and sticking out. Which I don't think we can do yet. Um, because once two half blocks step on each other, well then that's just... That's done. Uh, so that's the uh, the last house of snow pine. Let's get a look at it. This one actually faces e the west, and this one actually faces east. So a uh, couple of last things to make it a little bit of a home. Uh, a couple of torches. We have the uh, two double houses, uh, both somewhat built somewhat differently, and we still have a lighting error. But you can I discovered you can fix those by changing your graphics settings. Like so. See? Lighting error fixed. And I think I know what's causing it is because I planted all these trees uh, again. Actually, I don't know what's up with them. Because I can set it to fast. Okay, everything's on fast settings. Fancy, and they're completely unaffected. So this is just an error in the uh, chunk, it looks like, that's randomly happening. Uh, this is something I actually haven't fixed on the uh, main house. I I still have uh, full blocks. And this is also another reason I haven't been playing a lot of single players, because I've been getting a lot of this problem. And I don't know why. I could try... Okay, it's not the open geo. I've never figured out what it is. But, uh... If it's something easy like just occasionally that happening, I think I'll be fine with it. I mean, it still shows the outlines of the blocks and everything, but it's just, it's just not right. I don't know quite what's wrong with it, but uh, I think we'll deal with it. We can deal with it. So this is Snowpine, a small little three house mining slash lumber uh, housing thing. Um, next thing we're going to be doing is actually, there we go. That way the house doesn't look so weird. Um, next thing I think we're going to do is we're going to be enclosing this in some wooden walls. Uh, just simple, about four high wooden walls. Uh, which, yes, is going to go over this, unfortunately. And probably right along here. Um, what I'm going to do to make that interesting, uh, we'll have to see later. But uh, we'll also have to add a couple of storage units right here. I mean, really small, about a five by three or something like that. A couple of those here for things that the uh, people would uh, normally have. You know, wonderful things like life. 
So uh, that's Snowpine. Leave me in the comments what you want me to do, if you can think of anything. In particular, that would fit with the current theme, which is Norse-ish, Viking-ish, Newfoundland-ish buildings. And um, we're going to be building a little watchtower right here above the mine to keep an eye on the village. Because it's the little mine. I did my best to make it look a little bit different, something you wouldn't quite expect uh, for the entrance to a mine, but it looks pretty good. So we'll be adding some storage units, uh, some actual walls to protect the uh, wonderful little village we've got uh, started here, and so we'll cover that next time, folks. Till then, uh, let me know if you can think of anything, if you can figure out how to help me fix these graphical glitches, because, uh, man, they are annoying. Okay, it's fancy graphics! Cool. Uh, that's actually not very cool. But hey, we do. We can deal with that, right, guys? Till then, folks. This is Stumpin' Lama, and this is Snowpine, Snowpine Village, signing out.